What is up guys and welcome back to a new series on my channel called Subscribers Squad Squad Builder. Now yeah, that's a tongue twister in itself and I had to repeat that about four times before this. But this series is basically where you as my subscribers comment a squad down below and I try it. And then I basically build the team and then try it out and tell you how exactly this team is. Now this squad was recommended to me by this user as the comment will pop up somewhere on the screen like around and yeah he recommended this squad now this squad looks absolutely incredible it, i thought it looked pretty you know how does it work like maria Alice is on seven six chem because i've not got the whole uh loyalty bonus yet i need to play 10 games with maria Alice. i've only played five games with this team uh in goal we've got in form and Yemma taking me back 20.2k so that's quite a lot of money for a goalkeeper but his stats, 81 diving, 91 reflexes, 82 handling, and 81 positioning. Holy crap, he's got incredible stats. Uh, I've also picked him up with a shitload of contracts as well. So it, it works out in my benefit anyway. I think that's still the cheapest you can get on the market. But yeah, he is an absolute solid, solid goalkeeper. I have literally... No he's bad at set pieces. Okay, at set pieces, he is awful. Well, how tall is he? Six foot. It's quite small. But... Everything else, he pretty much held his own. It was absolutely incredible. So, yeah, just don't concede too many set pieces because he's not very good at that. Uh, right back, we've got Maxi Pereira again. I've mentioned this guy just like, literally two days ago on my Ultimate Team, a Liga Noz Ultimate Team. But, yeah, he's, you know, he's pretty damn solid as well. I can't say anything against Again, if he's out of position, you're screwed. Uh, on TT, again, 74 pace, 80 defending, 79 physical. Cost me 600 coins. I mean, what is that? And absolutely incredible again high high work rates though causes that little issue you have with maxi Pereira. uh next thing we've got yang mbwa who is an absolute tank i don't even need to go into this guy watch all my previous videos with him and he is an absolute solid player in left back we have control someone i wanted to try but i couldn't think of a tech way to like put him into a team other than putting him into a portuguese team but uh, this hybrid here allows me to play with him and he is actually incredible like for a left back he is solid uh, it cost me 850 coins, so about 200 coins more than his discard price. 78 pace, 79 dribbling, 78 defending, 72 physical. And he's got medium, medium work rates, which are absolutely incredible for a left back or right back. Uh, instead of mids, we've got Thiago, Toliso, and Mbula. Mbula has a rocket of a left shot. It's so, so strong as well. Scored one goal in seven games, and uh, oh my god, his goal was beautiful. He's got a few assists as well. Uh, then in the middle field, we've got Toliso, someone who I hated a lot. But, you know what? In this team, he's actually pretty damn solid. Like, he's he's got a goal for me. That's in the tree. But he's actually done a lot in the midfield. It's actually kind of crazy. I didn't expect him to do that. And he's got high, high work rates with 77 defending, 78 physical, 72 pace, 72... I mean, this is all 70s. What can I even say about Taliso? He's actually pretty damn good in this team. And he's younger than me. Freaking hell. Uh, then we've got Thiago. He's got four-star skills, three-star weak foot. Again, absolute monster. Two goals, three assists in five games for a centre mid. That is ridiculous. In left wing, we've got Ferreira Carrasco, who is an absolute incredible left winger. Could have been Portuguese, but decided to go Belgium. Uh, he's 10 games, but that's because I played with him before in another team already. Uh, he's five games. He's, I don't think he scored. Yeah, he scored two goals, but one of them got classified as an own, own goal, which you'll see in the montage. Like, it'll be on as I keep talking about this team. Uh, one assist. Uh, up strike. Oh, my God. Up front, we have Origi. Now, this guy last year had an incredible inform. This year has an incredible striker card. Five games scored eight goals, two assists, guys. Eight goals in five games. And I came up against crazy good teams. When I go into the montage, you'll see there'll be like a little design I've made where you'll see the star ratings of the team I gave it and like how cheap it was. And also along the left-hand side, at the bottom left-hand corner, just basically under my head like as I speak about the team, you will see a little clip just showing you the teams I faced. And oh my God, guys, the teams I faced... I lost one game out of five with this team, and it was against the easier team. Let's put it that way. Uh, then in right wing, we've got Miraz, who's only on 6 chem, but is an absolute monster. Scored three goals, three assists in five games in with 6 chem, guys. He is incredible. He's got, oh my god, Miraz is amazing. I thought 7k would be a lot of money for Miraz. I, I, I don't even care anymore. He is an absolute tank of a left winger. So yeah, we're going to go into the clips now as I go ahead and talk about this team. Now, as you can see, the team, I rate it 4 out of 5 stars. The only reason I rate the team 4 out of 5 stars, though, is because, again, Enyema cost a lot of money. And this team comes up to a total of about 27, 29, 30k because of Enyema and, uh, and uh, 
uh, Mirialis about to call him Hazard. Basically, just like Mini Hazard, to be fair. Uh, yeah, this team cost about that much coins, and it, it's not a lot of money. It's really not a lot of money, especially for the quality of team you get. Like, I've lost one game out of five goals. Out of five goals, out of five games. Uh, so, it was really good. And, I mean, I was smashing opponents. Like, I made an opponent rage quit. I lost one game against set pieces with the end of me. Like, if you have a set piece, uh, and Yemma probably won't save it. So, make sure you put someone on the line. Otherwise, it's just going to fuck up. Uh, Maxi Padilla was out of position a little bit. So, he is what I named him the weakest player in this team is Maxi Padilla. Like, that says a lot. And the best player in this team, as you can see as well, is Origi. I mean, I can't say anything about it. Origi for this card of value is incredible. I mean, he, he cost me 550 coins, guys. For a player to cost you 550 coins and then go out there and just absolutely smash freaking opponents left, right, and like inform farming. I think it was inform farming or inform trap. I, I can't remember who which inform it was, but he scored goals. Inform uh, Jerome Boateng had no chance against this guy. This guy won a penalty against him, took him on, scored two goals in that game against uh, inform Jerome Boateng, and oh my god, uh, Ferrer Karaska is Karaska Ferrer Karaska, sorry is so swift. I, I've not seen a player that swift before. Like he, His skill moves are so perfect. It's not even funny how good his skill moves are. And yeah, this team is just perfect, guys. I mean, for a budget team, this team can easily win you three divisions. The, again, lower ends, four to five, maybe even higher ends, to be actually fair with you at this point in time in the game. Not many people will have a Marcus Royce or a Sergio Ramos or an informed Boateng. Again, I did play only friendlies, or friendlies, not for any single matches. And yeah, it was absolutely... Incredible play like you come up against tougher opponents in friendlies because people are trying out new teams and they're putting in five-star teams And the matchmaking in this game still isn't perfect So you're still gonna come up against like absolutely incredible teams and while well, your mine is only rate four and a half stars Even with my bench, which is pretty you know powerful uh, But yeah guys if you enjoyed this episode, I'm gonna end it off with the clip still going uh, I'm probably gonna just blank out this part anyway If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave a like and leave down below in the comment section any teams you want me to try out the more the better so i can have a good selection of them you can even send me foothead links on my twitter so i will look at those as well so yeah guys if you do please subscribe as that will help me a lot and i will see you guys next time bye